We all like garlic with our food. It's a wonderful seasoning. But it does a lot of medicinal things that we know about as well. <clears throat> it's important in the treatment of hypertension for some people. It may lower cholesterol some. can work as an anticoagulant. And it also has a strong antimicrobial effect that works against a wide spectrum of different kinds of bacteria, yeast, and, uh, and viruses. We know that there's a, a large number of Campylobacter infections every year, and these are infections that cause acute diarrheal disease, acute gastrointestinal disease. A lot of people call it food poisoning. There are about 2.4 million cases every year. And most of the time we're using antibiotics to treat those because they work reasonably effective. And the two most common are Cipro and Erythromycin. But the problem is, is that both these drugs have side effects that can be problematic, that can be quite serious. So it would be nice if there was an easier way to treat this, uh, this problem that comes up with infection. It's interesting that when Campylobacter infections are present, it also accounts for about a third of the Guillain-Barre syndrome, uh, which occurs, it's called ascending paralysis. And while there are not a whole lot of cases, Campylobacter is what is the trigger in about a third of cases that do occur. And most of the time we get Campylobacter from eating undercooked or raw poultry. And when we cut through it, the mistake we make is we reuse that knife later or we'll reuse the dish in which that poultry that was uncooked was put in. And if it's infected with Campylobacter, it spreads to us. So it's important that we be careful not to cause spread like that, uh, particularly when the meat is done putting it back in the same dish that we started on. Now garlic has been shown to be very effective against Campylobacter. And try this, about a hundred times more potent than either Cipro or Erythromycin just plain old garlic. But it's not garlic by itself. It's an extract from garlic that's called diallyl sulfide. And this particular compound, as I said, is a hundred times more potent than these antibiotics are. And the main reason for that is that the Campylobacter produces a biofilm. It's just like a protective coating that covers it that makes it difficult for the antibiotics to get there. But the diallyl sulfate is able to penetrate that about a thousand, thousand times better than the antibiotics do. And consequently, it can get to where those infections are and treat it faster and more efficiently. It's interesting that this garlic a preparation of diallyl sulfate also kills Listeria monocytogenes, which is another uh, infection that occurs, and pathogenic E. coli that we've all heard so much about. But keep in mind that the garlic by itself is not what does the job. And you'd have to eat an awful lot of garlic to get the effect of what you get with the diallyl sulfide that, is, uh, that we can re extract from it. So it can be used uh, in some interesting ways. It can be used to package foods, to preserve them, and to make them last a little bit longer. And when we get infected, if we get with an infection like Campylobacter or Listeria or pathogenic E. coli, we can, if we can get this market, uh, this compound on the market, this diallyl sulfide on the sulfate on the market, we'll have a very effective and far safer way of treating the 2.4 million cases of uh, Campylobacter diarrhea that we see every year.